This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Formatting of cells involves changing the color, font, size, background, borders, to in essence change the appearance of cells. Now conditional formatting does exactly the same, but only does it when a set criteria is met. One of those potential set criteria is just the value of the cell. So if we take our rank work file, which has our year 12 exam results, and what we like to do is put some color on these results, so from that cell there down to that cell there, based on their score. After all, if they get 50 or more, that's a pass. 75 or more is a merit. So we'd like to have those scores highlighted to us graphically. Now in order to do that, we need to add conditional formatting. So the first stage is to highlight the cells. Then on the home ribbon, we can choose conditional formatting. There are different types of conditional formatting, but we'd like to use highlight cells based on a rule. Now the rule for these particular cells is that their cell value is greater than, but we could also go with less than, between, equal to, has a particular amount of text in it, is a date in a particular range, or is a duplicate value. That can be quite useful for data sets to highlight any duplicate values. For the moment, we're interested in greater than. So if our cell value is greater than, well, we'll choose 49, because 50 and above is a pass. Now you can see that it's already pre-formatted any cell values that are greater than 49 in a light red fill with dark red text. That doesn't quite look like that because we've got the cells highlighted and therefore inverted. But the one cell that isn't highlighted is always the first one, this one here. Light red fill, read pink, with a dark red text. Or we could choose a different pre-built format. Green fill with dark green text. Light red fill, red text. Or we can go to custom format and control it ourselves. Now you can't change absolutely everything. You can't change the font or the text size using conditional formatting. We can make it bold though, and we can make it red, and we can change the border, and we can change the background. Let's place it on a light pinkish background. So that's okay. And we can see that in action. So it's bold red text on a light pink background is my custom format for anybody whose score is greater than 49. So that's okay. Now if I want to add a second gradient value, I highlight the cells, go back up to conditional formatting, come down to highlight cells and rules, and let's say greater than, and choose 75 this time. Greater than 49 is a pass, but greater than 75 is a merit. I would like that to stand out a little bit more, so let's choose custom format. And the font color can be white on a quite dominant purpley background. And let's make it bold again. That's okay. And you can see it instantly they stand out. Okay. So now I have two rules effectively running on these cells. I click away to see the highlighting. These values are all over 75. These ones are over 49. Anyone else is not attached or attracted or being affected by the conditional formatting. At the moment, if their value changes, for example, here we have Mary in PE, she had 42, but we let her resit it and she managed to get a 51. As soon as I press return to accept that 51, it changes into the conditional format for being over 49. So it's not a something you have to reapply afterwards. Once that cell contains conditional formatting, it will keep checking for the value of the cell. Let's add one more conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, less than. Anyone gaining less than 25, that's a fail. A serious fail, like kick out of school type fail. We need to see if anyone's fallen into that bracket. Go in the drop down, custom format. Let's make them metallic. Make their background color a light blue and the font orangey color. Okay, okay. And you can see that in place. For those people that have scored less than 25. One item I would tend to suggest if you're going to use conditional formatting is to add a he. If I were to take three of those cells there, 
copy those and paste them down here. Not only do they paste in their values, they paste in their conditional formatting as well. So if I make that one a one, that one a 50, and that one a 76, I get the three levels of conditional formatting and I can say failed, passed, merit. And you can see instantly then that those purple splodges are merits. And there's quite a few in science, a lot of passes. But there's only two failures in English. Um, one failure in maths, poor Bob. Sarge here has failed two subjects, and so has Pablo. So conditional formatting can be really quite useful for helping the eye, the human, just really understand the sheet very quickly without having to dissect the numbers too deeply.